Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. Kid you not. 750ml bottle, 35% alcohol by volume, 70 proof. According to the label, which is a very nice and textured label, and uh, engravements on the bottle itself. Says here to the misfits, black sheep, and screwballs. Whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. Uh huh. There's two labels on this, on one label, and that makes it a little bit difficult. Not only you guys can see it, but on the back of the front label is copy, and yeah, you have a heck of a time trying to read it. But uh, it pretty much gives a definition of what a screwball is in a very polite way and what a black sheep is in a very polite way. Oh, <laughs> contains peanuts. Who would have thunk? So, I have my glass with a little bit of water in the bottom. There we are. Put the top back on because you never know. And voila. It is a honey gold with a caramel brown hues. It tears up fairly quickly. And when you sniff it, it immediately hits you with peanut butter all the way through roasted peanut butter there is a light alcohol burn to the nose but largely it is a uh, heavy 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 peanut butter so I saw this on the shelf had to give it a try But yeah, overwhelming peanut butter. The taste, on the other hand, is not overwhelming peanut butter. It is peanut butter. And I'm not sure what kind of bourbon that they used. Whether it's a, <coughs> a good bourbon, a bad bourbon. Obviously, it's not a sour. Obviously, not a rye. But still... There's so much peanut butter flavoring in this that it covers up any and all characteristics of the bourbon that's in it. There is very little to no bite. There is very little to no burn right there. So you know it's got a lot of flavoring. Now I've had other flavored bourbons. I'm really enjoying some of them. And a lot of times what they're doing is that they're adding flavoring to cover up a bad bourbon in the first place. One of my favorite bourbons, uh, one of the local uh, booze shops, I won't care anymore because they've tried the unflavored version of that bourbon and they went, this stuff is so terrible, we don't want it on our shelf. So that tells you how much honey and other kind of sweetening, sweeteners or sweetenings and other flavors that they add to help cover that up. So I'm not sure what or how this particular bourbon here would taste without the peanut butter. But the peanut butter is absolutely fantastic. I myself am not a huge fan of peanut butter. I'll take it or leave it. It doesn't really matter to me. Peanuts is not my favorite nut of, of that's out there. I'm a much more of a cashew gentleman. or a pistachio but this gives you just a wonderful flavor of roasted peanut butter it almost has say little like back hints of uh, chocolate is such a, a dark bitterness that comes with that particular peanut butter absolutely fantastic if you like flavored bourbons a wonderful dessert bourbon 
a little on the heavy side, so it may not be your dessert bourbon of choice in an extremely hot weather. But I would have to say, uh, fall, winter, and spring, when the weather is cool, cold, or just flat out uh, agreeable, flies everywhere. This is an excellent dessert bourbon to try. But, just my opinion. Oh, and on ice, the thing is with ice, it takes away about 70% or so of the flavor. In this case, when you add ice to it, by knocking it down, you don't really enhance, well, I shouldn't say that. You don't, you don't really deter much of the bourbon flavor. You do start to back off on the peanut butter flavor. So I guess you could say it, it enhances the bourbon side of it, only because you're limiting the peanut butter side. And it's still not bad. As a matter of fact, just because it was cold and it was hot that day, made it even more enjoyable. But that's just my opinion. Give it a try. So this little bugger just happened to show up on the shelf. And there was at least you know two other bourbons I wanted to try, and this one just happened to be the first one in the cart. Try it. See what you think. This is Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. Strange but true. Any comments about this particular product down below be wonderfully taken. Or better yet, go out Buy it, try it, see, and do a review on the YouTubes to let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts about this particular product. I said, don't be afraid of this peanut butter. I, you know, my roommate and my, uh, my lady, both of them backed off on it, didn't even want to give it a try. I figured, what the heck? It's, how outlandish can this be? And it was well worth the try. But, my opinion. Try it yourself. See what you guys think. Until next time, keep on drinking.